<laughs> Here at Lords today we have something very different. We have someone from the Cleveland Indians, a shortstop, one of the best hitters in Major League Baseball, Francisco Lindor, along with Billy Root who plays for Glamorgan. And we're just going to do any similarities, anything baseball can do to help Billy Root and cricket in general. Plus we're going to have a look at this old famous ground, have a look at the history, talk Francisco through some of the things in cricket. Should be a fascinating day. Francisco, when, you have, when you've had a bat out there, if you get out, you don't have to walk all the way in. And if you've got no runs, you come through these doors and all the members of the MCC are in here and they ignore you. Really? No one speaks to you. Really? Some of them tell you you're rubbish. This guy here, he, this is Sir Ian Botham. He's one of the legends of cricket. He looks more like a homer. He's more like a homer. And then these, Alex Stewart, these are all people that I grew up watching on TV. So you don't have right. someone who tells you where you're batting or anything? No, is that we have the manager, right, the manager. Oh, uh, yeah. really? Yeah, it's not like, a, we have the manager and he's the one that makes the lineup. He's the one that tells you you're coming out or not. But it's not, he's not playing. Oh, really? So when you're in the field, you're a shortstop, aren't you? Right. So do you ever move any, does someone tell you where yes, to stay? I, I usually, I'm the one that's like, hey, be oh, really? aware. Like, hey, be aware, you might hit it that way. But you decide that? No, the coach tells me that there's times where I, I get to, like, for example, let's say, a big, a big hitter is him, and he tells me I have to play him. Yeah. And like now, I, I know like I can get the guy out from here. I'll play here and now tell the other guys like, hey. Can, oh, is that right? right? Yeah. See, we have a captain that tells each of us where to stand. Oh. And he'll be every ball. He'll sort of move you around. Really? Do, but that's one person. So the captain in cricket. And he plays. Yeah, he's like the most important person, really. He decides who's bowling. See, so a bowler in cricket, you bowl six balls on one end, and then you go the other end, someone else bowls, and then you go again and again. Oh, and again. so you go back and forth. And then you have another couple, someone else will bowl, and the captain decides all of Really? Come on, come on. This is, now this is where, this is the dressing room. Oh, here you go. All of these here, all players, they've got five wickets, so they've got five people out in one innings. Really? Yeah, it starts off 18. So to get five people out is hard? Yeah, so you either need, so, there's only, so ever since cricket began in 1884, at Lords this is, this is like the, where is it, Fenway Park or Fenway, somewhere? Yankee this is Stadium. like Yankee Stadium for cricket. This okay. And all these, Fred Truman, these are all the greatest players, really, Derek Underwood, Bob Willis. Okay. That guy, that's the one you said looks like an owner. Yeah. He and both of them, so you got five. But the thing about him, so he got wickets, yeah. But then he would also have got runs. Oh, so he hits and so he's a pitcher effectively. Yeah. And I don't know if you got hundred at Lords. Ian both. Have really you got hundred at Lords? Seventy-eight. So there you go. Oh. So that's so why he's can. one of the, he's he's what we call an all-rounder. Okay. Yeah. So you have all-rounders in people who do both. We have one guy right now, Shohei Otani, and he he pitch and hits. Oh and really? Yeah, yeah. He he's pretty good. How is that right? So, but if you pitch, do you always bat? No, no. Because in the we have two leagues. We have the American League and the National League. In the yeah. National League, what's the Major League Baseball? Is right. right. Yeah. But no, they, Major League Baseball is like the whole thing. Oh, right. And then you have the National and yeah. the American League. Right. And in the National League, you have the pitcher, he can hit, oh, right. but they're usually not good. <laughs> That's the same with bowlers. Yeah. They can't bat. Right, they can't, right. And then you have in the American League, the, they substitute the pitcher for a DH, what they call a designated hitter. And that's that big poppy. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they hit for the pitcher. Yeah, yeah. So they say the American League is more of a hitter league. Oh, and really? And the National League is more of a um, pitcher. League. And then is that who the winners of both those play the World Series? Right, right. So you win the pennant, you win the yeah. National League, and you win the American League, and then you have the World Series. And do you get rings if you end up winning? You that? get rings and you get. Crazy. <laughs> you get all kinds of stuff, yeah. Uh, Alright, so, are you in here? Yeah, this is me here. The only time, and that's your score, against the West Indies. Okay. 221. Big time. Do you know, no, do you know, do you know how long that took? <laughs> how long? Day and a half. 
Come on, I'll take you into the dressing room. So this, this is like where the only players allowed in here really. You have a few, how many people would you have in here? We have a coach, oh. an assistant coach. Yeah, we have physio, not much else. What about you? Really, we have a head coach, assistant to head coach, infield coach, first base coach, third base coach, really? outfield coach, pitching coach, bullpen coach. Yeah, we have all those coaches and then we have 25 players. So a squad is 25 players. 25 so players. Cleveland, you have 25, 25 professional players. baseball. Right, but we have our own locker and the coaches are in a different yeah. You see, this would be different because this is where England, so if you if you play for Middlesex, mm -hmm. this is there, so they'd be like Cleveland. Okay. Whereas, but this, England play here, so it's different in cricket that we would have, the, the absolute top of our game okay. is international cricket. Mm -hmm. So you have county, which is like, Major league in a way, but right. not as big by right. any stretch. But the really the top is playing for England against West Indies, Australia, so you, against so other you, countries. You have to play for a country pretty much, and that, that's like the top. Yeah. So this is what this is like the where you guys change and get ready. We change. Get really? Yeah. It is small to what we have. Really? <laughs> yeah. Our, we, we, we have this big. This is massive for us. Really? A lot of them are about half this size. This is really? the best one. No, ever. we have like lockers and then we have like a separate, where you see the table over there, we have like a separate training room. Oh, really? We have kitchen. No. Yeah, like we we have all kinds of stuff. There's okay, a lot of tradition here. I like that. Yeah, it's cool, it's special. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, th this is the most, is probably the most historical ground as well. Really? Nowhere else like Lawless. Not in cricket. Probably not in any other sport. The Ashes Urn. The real thing. Really? Never intended as a trophy. And the background, it goes back to 1882. England played one match against Australia at the Oval, which is in South London. Okay. And they lost. It was a very, very close match. They lost by seven runs. And a couple of days later, there appeared a death notice in the newspapers really? saying that English cricket has died. It really? said, in affectionate remembrance of English cricket, which died on the 29th of August, 1882. The body will be cremated and the ashes taken to Australia. And that's where the term, the ashes, comes from from a little notice in the newspaper, not more than a couple of inches wide. So that was in the news? This was in the newspaper, yeah. <laughs> Somebody put it in as a bit of a joke, really. No one quite knows for absolute sure what they burned. We think it was the two little bits of wood that are on the top of the wicket, the bales. And it's the most likely scenario. That's what the legend has said anyway. But no one is absolutely no sure. One knows. What we do know is they popped them into that little urn, which was originally containing perfume, and presented them to the England captain. Is that the actual urn? That is the actual urn, that's the real thing. Now, England lost to Australia last winter. And by rights, this probably should be in Australia because they are the holders of the ashes. It's a bit like the world title belt in, uh, belt in boxing. So any uh, cricketer wants to win them. Yeah. You really? So you want to play for England and beat Australia. So even the world, we have and, a World Cup. And you get it like that. That's, that's why it stays at Lords. So you, you, so you have like that. So the captain will get to hold up the earth. But, but it's something like that. It's a replica. It's a replica of that right, right. because it's that's so fine. fragile. That's it's 130 fine. odd years old. So it's too fragile to move. This is sacred ground for all cricketers. Um, what we're saying is the home of cricket. As an Englishman. Right, or an Aussie, right. Right. that's the one, that, that, that is the old enemy, that's who you, you want, you dream as a kid. And if you are, you, you're an okay player, but then you show up in that, people will love you for it. If you, if you, that Ian Botham, he played, Sir Ian Botham played in 81, played lots of games, played lots of Ashes, but he made his name, became a national hero from winning the Ashes, almost on his own, he was like, made all the difference. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Francisco, what do you think of all the padding? It's too hot. much? There's way too many things. There's <laughs> <laughs> way too many things. I'm not used to it. This is more like a catcher in baseball. The, the one behind the plate. So now in England, you have to wear that. You can't play cricket really? without wearing a helmet. Really? If kids, anyone, 
have to wear it. Well, if I got this much padding, I better wear it. <laughs> Francisco, show us the hitting technique in baseball. I know you've got a cricket bat and the yeah, pads. Yeah. Tell us how you do it in baseball. In baseball, like I want to be in an athletic position. My, the way I stand, I want to be in an athletic position. That's where I want to start. So I, I, I get to play, I usually do my thing. And now I know I'm in an athletic position. And then I load. I don't want to load like this. I want to load into my back hip. So your stance, effectively, you got a wide stance. Right. And you, all your weight is in your back hip. I, not all my weight. I'm like more 60, 40 right. in the back. But then once I start loading, I want to get, I want to transfer at least 90% of my weight to the back hip. I'm not going in like this. I'm going to the back hip. And then once I go forward, it's just a matter of transferring that So weight. when do you start doing that? As the bowl, as the pitch is about to just right. throw. So the way we, we get taught is when the pitcher breaks, you break. Uh, okay. When the pitcher comes forward, that's when you, sh you should start, cut start right. coming forward. And then once I'm down, I don't want to swing as I'm up. I want to swing once I'm down. Now I'm down, now everything's from the backs come forward. He breaks, I break, I go back, and then go forward. And I want my bat kind of like this. Right. Not, uh, not like this, because then when you swing, it's kind of hard for you to swing like this. Once you're here, you create more whip yeah. with your bat once you're like this. So, and you're always using your back hip seems yes. to turn as well. So you're using your hips mm -hmm. for power. Mm -hmm. That's the most efficient way to get your hands going. Yeah, is if you rotate your back oh, hip right. as fast as you can. Why? It's like running. If you pick up your arm as fast as you can, your your legs is gonna come up. You know. So it's the same thing. If I do this, my hands are going to come as fast as they can. So that's the first thing that moves. When you're coming back down to hit yeah. the ball, so I have, it's your hip that fires. My, my, I have a three-step process in my hitting. If I'm one, yeah. two, and then three. Right. I, kinda, I can't hit with my foot on the ground. I can't go like this. Yeah. I have to like, it has to like start coming up and rotate like that for me to hit the baseball. Now in cricket, we always talk to you, my generation were taught to use your top hand and that does everything but now Billy and the players of this generation they start to use this bottom hand and that gives them bat speed right is that the same in baseball yeah in baseball my bottom hand this hand right here if I'm swinging right-handed it guides me yeah. this one guides me wherever I want to hit the ball so I, I can do this I can do that I can do whatever I want with this hand yeah this is my strong hand this hand oh drive the ball, what like we call drive, right, boxing what we, right, what we, we call drive, I'm going to drive the ball with my top hand, yeah. and then the opposite, and when, because I'm a switch hitter, so, <laughs> I, so this one will guide me to wherever I want to hit the ball, yeah. but then this one, it will drive the ball. Like all cricketers, you just watch the ball, just focus on the ball, thinking anything else? No, I just see the ball hit it, see, it, see the ball hit it. That's Come on, let's go and hit some. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm late. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Don't hit me, man. There we go. Shot. See, that we would call a cover drive. That's a cricket shot. <laughs> That's just lucky. He's trying to hit a line that. drive. Is that oh, foul ball? Yeah. Where's the base? Get the baseball bat. He might be it better with that. Mmm. It's, it's the length. He normally leaves that length. That's the Shut one. That's bouncing into the zone. Tell me you got that one. That was a beauty. <laughs> ah. You're a little bit early on that. Yeah. So then, if I swing and miss, is it out? Nah. Huh? No? If I swing and miss? If you miss, it's fine. As long as it doesn't hit the peg. As long as it doesn't hit that. Really? That's why we do it different. Because if, that, if you hit that, you're out. That's why we stand in line of it and try and play. Our first job is to protect that. Oh. So we can't, if it's not where we want it, we can't leave it and right. see if it's a strike and have another go. Our whole job is to protect, to protect that. that. But then again, if we're power hitting, 
we're still trying to give ourselves a bit of room. It's just finding the balance between being able to look after that area and have enough room to hit it as hard as to you hit. can. So, but if I stand right in front of it, I don't have room to hit it hard. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's, the, that's the problem. But as well, so, because you'll be you'll get hit by the ball if you miss it. Right. <laughs> So stay your side, you just need to, the length of it needs to go back. Let me a bit. try left hand. Yes! Yay. See now it's coming it into your base. Ah! <laughs> That's it. That's his zone. Shot. I'll get it. I'll get it. So I'm being what? late. It's late, huh? Hang up, Francisco. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's have a look at your grip. Stand in there. You see, when you do it now, because of your grip, mm -hmm. you're almost coming like that. Oh. Somehow you need to get it so you use the full blade. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, so you're sort of here and slicing it. Somehow I need to get that back first. So I need, so I need to do it slowly. Thing like that. Yeah, so it needs to come there, not. Got it. Ready? We'll see. I think I am. <laughs> Sharp. Yes. That's four. What about giving the baseball back? With the baseball back? Okay, let's try that. There you go, now you go. Shot! Shot! There he goes. Amazing they can hit that better with a smaller bit of wood. Shot! Shot! All right. I want to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. there you go. Okay. Welcome to cricket. There you go. <laughs> One more, and then we get Billy in. I want to watch it. So, Billy's going to show you how we do it batting in cricket. Whereas the difference, whereas you, when you're batting left-handed, you're standing miles away from the stumps. Right. We have to protect those, because if it hits them, you're obviously out. Right. So he's going to stand. Show him the difference. If you're over there near your helmet, Billy, where do you stand for well, normal batting? First of all, I'd, when I came in, I'd ask the umpire standing there, which, which one of the pegs I'm standing at. So if I want to be on the middle one, I'll ask him the middle. Then I'll make a mark, and I'll know I'm standing right in front of the middle. Okay. So just, people have a different preference, but right. usually people take the middle stump as a reference point to know where they stood. Yeah, so from there, I'd pick up a lot more in a straight line. Like, we talk about staying in line, I'm trying to track the line of the ball with my eyes and my, the plane of my bat as well as my legs. Right. And he, so he won't just try and hit every ball for six for a home run, I think. Right. Yeah. He'll start off, he might just block a few and then gradually depending on, because the bowler might bowl short through here, might pitch it there, half volleys. And he'll have all these different shots for that. So he might go forward to some, back to others. We'll put some in and we'll show you. Go and put a couple down. See, that would be maybe one run, but that's a defensive shot. That's like a fun one. Right. I look bad. <laughs> I look bad. Go a few bigger shots now, Billy. Yeah, be like flick for two. Okay. Shot! You see, he's not trying to almost hit it as hard as what you do. Right. Because all he has to do is hit a gap. Billy, try a, a baseball hit. See, try, no, no, but try um, normal batting, but with the hip and the... All oh, right, okay, yeah. Try a power hit, see if you can learn. That's it. There you go. That's what I was doing. 
go. So he's done that with like a straight But bounce. he's catching it like short bounce. Yeah. He's he, not letting it get up yeah. here and then swing. You're coming there. Right. Whereas he... Sharp. What would you say to him on his hips? If you, how would you get him to fire? Hit it hard. Sharp. I would, I would just tell him to rotate a little bit more. Because right now... Come on, let's go down and tell him. I would say, right now you, you, you're you using your, your lower body, but not as you're not maximizing your lower body because right now you like you're doing your you go back and then you finish in like this if you rotate more you get more into the into the ball in baseball when i want to hit the ball as hard as i can if i over swing i do exactly what i'm doing here face that way i'm not you know i'm not control i'm not con controlling my body for me it would be i want to hit the ball hard, as hard as i can i'll go that's my that's my swing this Go on, show us that. See if you can do it. Come out of the way. Like that, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, like that. Like like you. If Go on, do it again. That going some. Come on, let's see if you can do it. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Sure. Shot! Shot! Good hit. That would have been a home run. In cricket, that would. That'd be out. Francisco, enjoyed it. How's cricket yeah. for you? Ah, oh, it, was, it was hard, but it was fun. I like, I like challenging stuff. I like that. Billy, I reckon there's a fair bit you could take, actually, from what he was talking about with the hitting, the hips, the rotation, everything else. Yeah, I think so, especially with 2020 growing out. There's a lot of stuff there that I'll definitely use in my practice. Cool. Right, thank you very much. That was thank brilliant you, to watch. Thank you. Got some serious thank power you, and speed. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> you guys. Well done, mate. We'll see that this summer for you. Sure. There he goes.